Okay. Uh, it appeared. <laughs> it gets real wide on, on this camera, like artificial. Hmm. Ah, yeehaw. Well, over here at uh, Spawn Pop Place. Um, what's the name of it? At least what's the name of it on the app? Tiger Truck Stop. Over there. This is Spezza, Texas. Exit 87, 9, 10. A great place. It's a, it's an old school truck stop. Our old truck stop has been reopened. Being they reopened it by I think they said about two years ago, something like that. And um, I gotta plug this thing in. Don't want to shut off while I'm doing this crazy stuff here. Uh, sorry for that, but. Oh well, my videos suck anyway, so who cares, huh? Um, old school truck stop. I mean, just like these places. Get better service. I mean, they got the restaurant. They got me, you know, stack pancakes with um, three sunny side up eggs, and it was a perfect sunny side up. I mean, it was, it was awesome. A nice young man, nice young man in there. Woo! <laughs> you know, he's. Working there, family restaurant, and going to college, the um, architect. It's pretty nice, and, you know. Listen, to me and this other driver talking. The other, other driver's parked beside me. He's a bed bugger. So I'm about the drama he's had to face because the electronic logs. It's not really the logs. It's the how these companies are adding extra rules. He's. They discovered they had two flat tires and he's trying to talk to probably knows how many people has talked to get that stuff taken care of and he's walking around the truck don't look too happy um to probably tell him oh you should do this you should do that and stuff I don't have to deal with with, with my company um shoot I mean they can't even move an inch without their logs kicking them on duty or something and got the uh, I, well, I don't know whatever logging company they're going with but it's going to call their company shut down because competition probably doing that but their theory is we'll be the safest and more people will use us but it's safe I mean these logs will make us safe it'll make, it'll make you if you if you implement them the wrong way it makes loads being late and then customer word of mouth the customer will go with another Another um, household goods mover. Yeah, but that's one thing about the company I worked for that they're not it's common sense impl inflammation with with electronic logs. Yeah. Makes life makes life easier. You know, if I'm tired, I can not pull over because it'll be late. So so be it. I'm not getting in trouble. Even when I was a company driver of the same company, not go not gonna be in trouble. But um, now I'm waiting for my 15 to get done because I I do our, I do my pre trip first and whatnot, where I'm concentrating on everything, and then and then um, things trying to shut down the idle, and then um, go scan those little um tags but yeah he, he raised a point like you know the, the pay per mile range hadn't really changed since the 90s I mean I remember I was in a truck driver in the 90s I was in the trailer park there's truck drivers I lived in the trailer park they're talking about going to get 40 cents a mile and whatnot back in the 90s and hadn't gone up which is company's gotten bigger and got more other office people to pay for. But, you know, the way things were back then in the 90s, um, was no appointment times. You picked up the load and you let them know when you're going to get there. You set the appointment times. If you're the one driving, you set the appointment times. Now it's like, you know, Run these drivers like a sweatshop on wheels. Yeah. And 
once you have the driver appreciation stuff, he told me how it was back in the 90s. And you know, the truck shops have to have these big old cookout and all this free food and beer and everything and live entertainment. Now, now you get a dollar off when you met meal. Woohoo! But <coughs> still like the job. It, it can always get better. It can always get better. The other thing else is what goes up goes down, goes down, goes up. Little things on a cycle. I get back to um, a, to where a, those drivers set the appointments. Because right now, Alliance Company's got too many hands in the pot. Because they want to control the drivers. Um, let's see here, what do you call that? You know, you know, retentive, and you know, expulsive. No, that, that, that's not it. Micromanaging, micromanaging. Now the drivers that hire now, yeah, yeah, they just so they know how to drive those auto sticks and hold the steering wheel. When I started, I didn't. I mean, I didn't start back in the nineties. I started like oh seven or something like that. Oh six, oh seven. I've been driving this with the map on the steering wheel. You know, figuring stuff out. And still being alert to what's ever around me. I had that skill level. Before these on the trunk things, the trunk GPS is, I mean, it's got messed up and you know, I'm looking at my GPS and all of a sudden it puts, covers the screen with, hey, you're on drive. I'm like, oh, uh, really? Hmm. Or, we're almost off hours. I'm like, okay, well, I just missed my turn. Thank you. No, nope. Practical walking around common sense has been applied to this technology. And you know, I ain't changed it by, by it's, you know, maybe I am, I don't know. But a generation would change things. And I talk about, you know, autonomous trucks. You know, a lot, a lot got changed with that. A lot of stuff has changed with that. You know, everything has to be autonomized. For that to work out, Everything that's on the highway will have to be autonomized, have to be autonomous. And then you'd be safe. More machines, more robots, less labor, more obesity. And that's, that's one young man said, my, well, you know, those people got maintained robots. I'm like, eh, might be jobs for maintaining them. We're building them, let's see our cars are practically built all by all by robots. The companies are forced to find a way to have, to have humans do stuff. You know? It's been, the cars was welded by hand, stick welded, craftsmen. Now it's just robots. To make that dollar. Make vehicles where they won't last as long. So you buy more. Versus having dignity and you know, self-resolve and having pride in your workmanship and making something that's going to last a hundred years. You know, pride in workmanship, pride in your craft. Money, 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 greed. But comes around, goes around. What has the beginning has an end. You know? so never, we never, we might not make it to robots, you know. Worldwide extinction has always been. Well, these Native Americans, they said there's been always been already been two. We had two world wars. Things happened in threes. People die in threes when they work in nursing home. People die in threes. Sometimes one, two, three. Sometimes it's one, two. A bit later, three. Well, it might be facing World War Three, or not. I don't really care. That doesn't bother me. I don't think I've worried about Russia, especially now since the last president ain't around to um, be, be trying to piss off Russia. So, um, 
In which respects a strong leader. We got one that on those. And China, on the other hand, with that King Song, some dumb guy ill. Yeah. And why hadn't we just go ahead and eliminate him? Well, who would be replacing him it would be worse, and, you know. That would affect that area. But, uh, I mean, top of regime, you cause more problems than it was before. But, I don't know. Crazy things. I mean, which was, you know, back where it was before I pick up a load. I'll let you know when I'm going to get there. Get there when I get there. You call me haul, that's all. <laughs> but trying to make it so efficient, but you're just squeezing out all the fun. Making it to a daggum sweatshop on wheels. Money, 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 money. And if you blowing the money, you have to hire more people to micromanage. Hmm. But some, some technology is good. I, the, the brake negation system, I kind of like it. You know. Especially, you know, driving at night. I mean, actually, actually, um, we overdrive our headlights. Or low beams, that far the headlights go, Switch the motors driving faster than that length. Think about it, you got low beams. So you see something, can you stop before you hit it? No. It's going 60, 70 miles an hour? No. Uh, the Geisha system, it's putting out radar. Yeah. The reason why radar detectors be ineffective because it becomes be going off, but it won't be cops, it'd be other trucks checking speed and everything else of, of objects. And then something could be at night and the gauge system will pick it up before the headlights and your eyes will. The one in the Volvos works good too, except they're irritating like but I mean, you know, we can tune out women's voices, we can act thing with tune out too. The only good thing going before the Spanker National has a Bendix, you can turn down the volume. The only thing going for the Spanker National is, oh yeah, there's room. I'm being sarcastic. There's room. You have room to live in it while it's, part, while it's at the Dagum dealership being worked on. So you get my title. I'm getting all that emission stuff deleted. It'll still be there, but the computer won't, won't see it, so it won't be an issue. If I can't live over, I'll buy me something that I can. I'll have something I can get me something brand new. You know? Won't be at the mercies of, of you know, people financing me. I have something, something to offer for down payment, or just you know, I sell the truck and bring up bring up cash. Yeah, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm not there yet. I don't have the title in my hand. Yeah, I might just keep it. it I like having stuff that I'm not making payments on. That I'm not pay, making payments on. You know. I can pay me some stuff. Don't like it. I like it all. Like it paid off. And my Lincoln had been paid off for two years, but then it got to the point. And everything else, I just I mean, did wouldn't take much to fix it up. You know, re replace a, a connection coil and um, I'd replace the carpet inside and have that one window rolling up thing fixed. I was just waiting for something else. So I got that old SUV. Looking forward to getting that thing paid off and, and keep it. Paid off and keep it. Yeah, depends on the wife's doing for school or not. You know, probably in two years I'm gonna have to get another vehicle. Keep that thing. And her car I'm driving. If I could save it, my son's 10, six more years, he's gonna enough to drive. Keep that car. 
that you can only sell it, that that's something you can sell later on. Or something happens. Hey, well, that's, those big, those vehicles are paid for. You still got transportation. This is their thing in, in debt. You don't really own it. You don't. Don't really own it. I got my name on title. Yeah, but that doesn't really mean much when you owe a bunch of money on it. The person with the lien holder would take it. Now, the last video I did, so far I got one view, but that's good. That's good enough. Don't know drama from the other guy. Uh, it's, I mean, I go to these live feeds and I, I communicate. It doesn't recognize my presence. You know? Yeah, I piss people off because I'm, I'm correct. I'm right. I cut through the bullshit. Get to the mammy pamby stuff. And he was like talking about, you know, respect, but no, respect's not earned. Yeah, respect's earned. You know, sometimes it's earned quickly. Like, I respect an officer. <laughs> he has a gun. He can definitely fuck my life up. You know? I guess it's, 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 it's got to be a better word. Like a definition of respect. I guess maybe I do respect everybody. I miss me, I miss you, you know. I don't care about your religion or whatnot. You know, you don't, you don't miss me, I don't mess with you. Be just fine. Mess with me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you. There's no gray area with me. <laughs> like a spring trap. Boom. But... I got experience in that stuff. Experience in that stuff. I'm gonna watch the other driver. He's my age. 45, been bed bugging mainly. He looks younger because he's done the gray hair. It's pretty awesome tattoos though. Um, uh, I might give me another tattoo, but I don't be worried anybody can see it. That's how I'm naked. Uh, hey, no, hey, no. I feel like talking, rambling on. Yay! I mean, I'm happy to just know waking up, got breakfast. But now it's since February, so I'm getting myself motivated to drive and whatnot. In this month, I'm taking a week off, taking a week off. You know, I can afford it. We go off bed for another month, and then they put up a side of the truck with me. And then be some fun times. That's vacation for me when, when my son's with me. Yeah. yeah, time's always changing. I remember being young as a child, listening to you know, my dad and everyone else talking about changes and whatnot. You, know. and you will too when you get that age. Back in my day, you know, yeah, yeah. This shit, something could really change. I mean, you know, we might get my best World War Three. We get hit just enough to knock out electronics and everything. We start all over, all over. Just imagine how this place looked like when, back in the day, cab overs and everything, hustling and bustling, and, you know, and now, what the hell the bed buggers going through with this company? I'd be wanting to switch to different companies. They're gonna be that annual attentive with um, the e logs and don't need to. Thing what my brother's talking about, you know, 
fights he's fighting for the betterment of his students. And people don't want the changes. You know. I mean, they don't even have no computer aided, aided drafting in that high school. That stuff came out in the 90s. School I was going to had, had CAD. Down in La Penta, they got sports. That's about it. That's why it's 70%. The students who go on the free ticket, you know, the paid college, fell out the first year. That's how the good old boy program fails students. But, you know, I'm a brother vent one night. His boss is saying, like, in five more years, you know, you can retire, like, hitting, like, my brother should stay. He can become superintendent. He can change things. I mean, he has somebody, one of this other teacher that gets paid a lot but doesn't do a good job because she's probably blowing the superintendent. And when you, she walked up to him and pat him on, pat him on the inside the leg. I mean, come on. But good old Baptist. Good old Baptist. Good old Baptist. You know. Makes a mockery of God. But they will have to stand and give an account. In front of everybody. I think people understand that much of embarrassment. Everybody. In the whole world. Once that never knew of Christianity looking down at them with disgrace like you had this and you blew it I don't know different thing about the church has always has always been in the history of being the thumb on people go totally against the teachings of Christ got money you can prepay for your sins. <laughs> Catholics. Uh, anyways. No, I think about within three years. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying after three years from the day it's when, you know, the rapture will happen. I'm thinking, well, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm mostly hoping. But then, from now to whenever. Or not. I don't know. I'm just looking forward to in my life. Get the fuck out of here. See that's corrupt. Rots. Corruption in all aspects. I hate to see how it is in other countries. Why so many people come to America to escape the corruption, whatnot, the bullshit from where they was born. What we got here is corruption light compared to everybody every place else. There's a yin, there's a yang. There's gotta be something to equalize everything. It's gonna happen. Can't I mean evil corruption cannot prevail for long. The yin and the yang. It's gonna be something that's gonna be an equalizer. But I don't know. Different things to think about, I reckon. Hmm. Pretty not days to go. Go, 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 go. Alright, did my pre trip, but not. Motivation to go, to go, to go, to go, to go, to go, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy, hoo hoo. Just, ugh, get motivated. Ugh. You know, why can't just people just do things because it's the right thing to do, the good thing. I mean, employ people just for the sake of employing them, help them have a better life versus money, 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 money. You know, why can't naivety prevail? Do what's right because it's the right thing to do. I just, I don't know. Sad.
People gotta be taught to do right. <laughs> Apparently, you're not a child of God. You gotta be taught to do right. Oh. I don't know. Yeehaw. Look at myself. Young looking face, old looking hair. Definitely a haircut. Close enough to going home time. Oh yeah, shit, we got that. Here works like on a certain truck stop. Like their barbers. Women and they do a great job. They even line out my beard and everything. Works out where I can stop there for the night. Take a shower. Shave and everything. Yeah. Or not. Uh, no, I think I get going. Talk to y'all later.